the other music button. We got shenanigans versus spicy chicken cleave. This is Playhouse here at the PML. And now, what's the other thing you have to do? There you go. Oh, slash wow. NI slash V. Well, run the ball. We'll make sure NI is enabled. You don't have to enable both. That's why I already did it. Now it's okay. disabled. Wait, no interact. You want enabled it enabled. You want it enabled. I don't know. I don't it's know. no interact. You want it enabled. <laughs> okay, it's enabled. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, you, you, and you and going for the early iron chest. <clears throat> Ew. Now this this map is really is by far becoming one of the coolest maps to play out because we do see a ton of strategies, uh -huh. and uh, I think it's pretty easy to say that uh, LHG has kind of made themselves. Pretty much on this map. Pretty much just they pretty much just declare that this is their map. This is the this is their favorite map and the map they do do the best on. In fact, we just saw them just the other night. Two O shenanigans on this map. But uh, I don't know. if Spicy Chicken is off to a good start here. Was that the Iron uh, Armor loss by Un? It might be probably. Well, yes, yes. And it was. Joanna, and there what, goes what's Bush he doing over here? This isn't going to get him anything. Uh, it's going to get death. Yeah, and they haven't got the robot chest, so they're already two men down, and they and, pretty much... Uh, Jonah uh, broke the arrow ch uh, archery chest and uh, just donated, donated all the those diamond. supplies. Oh, Stink. goodness. Yeah, they so. like you can lose your robot diamond, but you can't lose both. In fact, Push is coming up here to look for the diamond, and he's realizing, wait, we already have the diamond? Easy peasy, spicy chicken <laughs> cleavies. Un's so. coming in here, but this is, this is like, he doesn't even stand a chance. So more times going for uh, the robot chest on shenanigans side with White Tiger watching him. For some There's reason. the Powerball starting up. First pe first item is some chicken, but and I'm just gonna go down here. Spicy chicken cleave looking like uh, they haven't really adapted a strategy that's safe. Well, here's one. Uh, Jonah uh, camping up on the magical door of wonder. Yeah. Hey. Well, the I thing is, I, I don't get, like, we, we see this happen, and, like, Nod's it looks like Nods is route. here. I mean, this this only works if they get gear out of this, right? If it pays off, it's, it's good. If it's good strategy, if it actually pays off. But if it doesn't, then it's just a waste of time. And they're dedicating right. so many members to this. I mean... So, I think Push did Push. Yeah, Push went and got so, uh... Shenanigans got both the robot chests, plus the archery chest on um, Spice Chicken Cleave's side. That's that's a lot of supplies gone. Oh, they're just going to have a major diamond advantage. Um, I mean, Spicy Chicken Cleave, I don't even think they'll be able to make four sets of diamond. I, I don't think the, uh, like, I don't know the exact numbers on this map for how much is in the uh, Playhouse box, but I don't think you can make four sets of diamond. You might be able to make exactly four sets, as long With as you make gold helms and stuff. But um, well, it'll be interesting to see. Um, so far, it doesn't look like it's gonna go in Spicy Chicken Cleave's favor, but stranger things have happened. Jonah facing off against White Tiger, who destroyed Naz's bed. Yeah, this is looking like. See, Spicy Chicken Cleave is doing this strategy, but they've done it before, and they've done it before they to do shenanigans. It every time. They, yeah, this, and I get maybe it works better in their practice games, but maybe. But it's hard to tell. Uh, we haven't seen any. I don't have they won with this strategy yet. Not that we've seen. I mean, they they haven't gotten to do it too many times on the uh, on the stream, but maybe in test servers, maybe. Practicing against the teams that that's, don't want to play. That's what I'm on guessing. Street. I'm guessing in practice it works pretty well, but. Alright, so there's a pick coming out of the power ball. Push grabs it. Don't know if there's any eyes in play. I haven't seen any, but then again, I'm not. Whoa! Burning down the magical door of wonder. Why would you do that? Um. It's so pretty. Well, <laughs> it actually lit Nas on fire. Oh, which okay, is that's why you do funny. it. That's why you do it. I mean, yeah, it kind of so cuts up access. Uh, I guess that's... Shenanigans just wants to burn down uh, their spot because will that will that out. pop their bed up? I don't think it will, but uh, I don't know. Will it reach? This, I don't this know might if... cause like it might just cause a distraction and them being able to harass for a bit. But I don't think this is gonna matter because they've already won. They've kind of already got the advantage in gear and yeah, such. Yeah, here's Sir Demonic 
he's not even had a sword in his hand. So they, they, they do have two sets of diamond, but shenanigans That's is going to be in, in four, man. So they're not going to be able to fight in a straight up engagement. And if What's shenanigans, if shenanigans oh God, plays it's... this smart and just camps the middle, gets four and leaves. Because here's the thing. It's like if I was shenanigans, you don't even really need to defend your base. Like if you have everyone geared, actually push is opting to not even be geared. I think he must All right, here's how the fire can backfire. Uh, this might set fire to their castle. This is... That would be a problem. It looks like it's not going to. No, but it's always a possibility. Didn't they nerf fire in a Minecraft patch? It used to just go on forever. Now yeah, it does. it's supposed like I don't know. Every time we see a Minecraft patch, they say, "Well, now so and so item does this," and it doesn't actually do this. Naza jumping off takes a lot of falling damage though, and then just donating a set of diamond armor to Snick. Ooh, there's an eye just outside of uh, Shenanigan's side, just sitting there. Where did that pretty. come from? Oh wow, Spicy Chicken Queen have capped a point. Oh, wow. Yeah, but they're not going to be able to get four points. That's the problem, is they need to be able to control the center, and their strategy doesn't have a plan for the center. Well, maybe they just plan on uh, just death running in there, I guess. I, it just, I mean, uh, it just doesn't seem to work. I'm like, I'm sure, th I'm sure this is supposed to accomplish something, but whatever it's supposed to do, it isn't, so... Like, I mean, it, it might just look really dumb. Oh, and here's certainly Monarch's gonna go down to White Tiger. Oh, he does get a knife health push it off. Nas is gonna come in, bombs White Tiger, so they do pick up another set of diamond, but now they gotta deal with Mordheim in a 2v1, and certainly Monarch's low, and now Nas is gonna be able to Ooh, kill there him. there goes Nas. And now there's all this arm on the ground. What is Mordheim gonna do with it, though? He doesn't really have the inventory room to carry all these items. All right, comes so, uh... In, picks it up. I don't know who this is. He's gonna is. go for a backstab at Mordheim. Oh, on, why are you trying to fight this? You should've just left. You had, a, you had an easy way to get out there with all that gear. Why would you stay here to fight? You can't fight a guy in diamond armor, dude. This is just silly. S Snicks built a little monument over their uh, their eyes. I, th this is kind of going overboard. That's a lot of blocks just now, to block Here comes White block Tiger off. in. Mordheim's left. So this is actually an easy kill for Un. And Un does have two sets of diamond on him. I really wish he would back off and just regear his teammates. Sort of like trying to take out Mordheim but getting knocked back. And Oz doing the same thing. They just look like they're rushing him. Um, so, well, Mordelheim is now poisoned, so he is going to have to back off. Oh, and look Ooh. at that! Joanna waiting for him on the roof, but, but he gets a he heal does, potion. He's going to heal potion. Mordelheim is running, and they're chasing Mordelheim. They want his blood. They do, and there they go dying. White Tiger and Snick. And, uh. But I mean, this isn't center. accomplishing anything. Like. Alright, there is. Two oh, eyes? Why, why, why is Shenanigans not eyes. leaving someone at the center? That's what I don't understand. The only way they lose yeah. this game is not controlling the center. And why is Spicy Chicken Cleave not going for the center any chance they get? The only chance right. of winning is when Shenanigans isn't guarding the center. I mean, isn't that the point of distracting them at, the, is, at their core? Here, here comes more time picking up the three Ender Eyes, and that could probably be game if he gets in. Here's Push fighting on. Oh, Push with the Ooh. amazing oh. volleys of uh, potions of harming. Taking out two players. Lots of armor just rotting on the ground there. Push can't do anything about it. He's trying to throw away blocks. Oh, he's going to opt to burn it. I like that choice. Oh, look at that. Mordheim's just That's stood a shame. still. Oh, <laughs> I think he's getting. He's just potioning up. He's getting ready to just blitz in here, cap everything. I don't think they have it covered here, do they? They do not. All right, this is this is over. One, two, two, three, three four. four. Game. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't, I don't really know. Like, uh, they were at severe gear disadvantage the whole match. Well, so. yeah, massive d gear disadvantage. But like, their plan doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I guess maybe they're still trying to iron it out. But I mean, it kind of, like, I get the harassing the team because if you notice, shenanigans spent primarily their entire, like, most of the game having minimum two players in their base, right? And so there was a lot of periods of time there where Spicy Chicken Cleave could have grabbed items out of the center. And we, you, you know, we saw it. There was two, three eyes just sitting there in the center. And that's all they if Once they had control of those eyes, then they could actually, like, get a harassment win. But by not ever going into the center, it just kind of felt silly you know like their whole plan just i mean every everyone watching was just like well that didn't make a whole lot of sense you guys just lost so well, maybe they were uh from what i can tell maybe they were just waiting for like a lot of drops hoping that when they actually went there that they wouldn't uh the spicy chicken would go for the center either
but even then, that's a stretch that's giving them a bit too much credit. Yeah, Who like, knows? the thing is, like, Shenanigan didn't play that properly either. Like, they definitely uh. should have had people in the center. I mean, they, they needed to keep someone in the center because if they had kept, you know, one person in the center as much as possible, um, then there's no way Spicy Chicken Cleave can win. Like, there's, app there's zero chance of winning, so. All right, have they chosen their map yet? No, eh, apparently not. Still waiting no. on the map choice. Spicy Chicken Cleave are discussing it. Uh, double Helix. That was, was it obvious? I, I don't like this choice, man. Because uh, the thing yeah. is... Here's the thing, is most likely Shenanigans would pick Double Helix as the third map, because because if Spicy Chicken Cleave wins, they're going to have to go to third map, right? And so Shenanigans probably would pick Double Helix. And so by p picking Double Helix now, basically Spicy Chicken Cleave is saying, you know, the, or rather, basically Shenanigans is going to have whatever choice they want for their third map. Can you guess what it's going to be? A gunship, maybe? Probably. So... The thing is, like, why even risk it? Why not just pick Gunship right now? That way, Shenanigans doesn't have a choice, and they have to pick Double Helix. So, I don't know. To understand way, the guys, minds of players. While we get the team be... set up, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. So don't go anywhere. Spicy Chicken cleaves down a point versus Shenanigans here at the PML. This, this could be good. I've seen a few double helix, some good double helix games recently, so. Like down to the wire. Alright, are you ready? You got basically. I, you gotta, I just have to hit yeah, you, ready this, button. This, is, this map is the hardest one. You have to hit the ready button and then immediately pull the lever. Oh, wait, I have to pull, yeah, I have to pull the lever. Crap, okay. I forgot. Yeah, this, this is the hard one because you actually have to like quickly tab out. So let me know when you're ready. Again, position. Alright, here. Are you ready, Dead Bones? I am ready. All right, guys, here we go. So I guess we should give Shenanigans their point. They did earn it. Eh, some would argue they did. They did. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We got Shenanigans versus Spicy Chicken Cleave. This is Double Helix here at the PML. White and Mord skipping the first chest. Joanna, again, going to camp the first chest, but there's no one here. And, I mean, this this entire map has basically come down to what happens with these first PvP chests, right? We see White yep. Tiger has already got the uh, second chest, and it looks like Mordheim uh, is going to get the third uncontested. And this I'm going to say I this is Sir Demonic. He's going for the blue on Spicy Chicken Cleave's side already. That's, uh, that's really quick. Is they going straight with the little bridge building strategy? Have they started on the red? Usually they send someone down for the red. Apparently not. Ooh, on their way down of, for the green. Number of Spicy Chicken Cleave getting hit out of the world. But I mean, did you see Spicy Chicken Cleave is still doing the same thing where they leave two archers at the for the top chest and then Shenanigans just skips. And look at this. Shenanigans Ooh, had... <gasps> Shenanigans had push set up to guard the fourth chest. Wow. So now Un fell out of the world as well. And so now the only two PvP chests are still remaining the first one, which Sniktar remained at, and now Push is actually backing off. He's done his job. And the last chest, and guess what? Mordheim's going to get the last one. So now, Shenanigans owns every PvP chest except Ooh. for the first one. That is a big disadvantage. Uh, but they've yet to start any of the wool. It's, it's to the point where Spicy Chicken Cleave, unless they have some sort of counter strategy for interrupting the game flow of shenanigans 
they don't stand a chance. I mean, it feels really stupid, oh. right? That this, this is this is bad. Wait, here's more time to creeper. Is he gonna get him? No, he's behind by the chest. This is really dangerous for more time. Oh, There's a creeper missed. right here. Oh no! Oh, he hits on. Un dies. The supplies fall. These mobs are really I into don't... <laughs> More time is at the mercy so of these mobs right now. That's every chest, man. Oh, well, he survived. It's good. Yeah, he took the hit. That, this is every chest, and it looks zombie. like there is the well, the one thing they need is this ender pearl. This ender pearl is the is how they get the third chest. But I don't it think is. spicy chicken cleave can come back from this. I I don't know. So here's more time placing blocks as he goes up. Smart move. He's pretty low on health. That creeper explosion did do some damage. Uh, a lot of creepers, a lot of spiders. Not too many mobs on. Um, shenanigans side. White That's Tiger's already got the red wool, and I mean, there's no chance for Spicy Chicken Cleave to get a red wool that fast. Uh, oh, is this Mordheim coming started. up with the green wool? It is. Mordheim's coming up with the green wool, but he's getting kind of cornered, kind of yeah. doing a little juke de juke. Got a miniature Jerry Rice here going around these mobs. Uh, uh, there's the red. Spicy Chicken Cleave's game. lost, man. This is it. I mean, they did. Do they, have, uh, do they already Spicy get the blue wool? Start on their uh, let's see. I mean, their let's only see. chance is to defend the blue wool at this point. All right. Uh, well, Spicy Chicken Cleave have the blue. That's about it. And I think here comes Mordheim and uh, Snick with the red and green. So it's just the blue. And this blue is wool. this is what I was talking about. Is Spicy Chicken Cleave is doing the exact same play over and over again on Double Helix. And shenanigans just completely blind countered him this time. They didn't have put any pressure on that first PvP chest. In fact, Snake Todd didn't even get there for 15 seconds. Had one of the members of Spicy Chicken Cleave gone for the first chest, he actually could have got it. So, uh, looks like is no. I thought more time was going to place the blue, but they're just going for the blue now. It's uh, red right green to blue. Uh, but I think. And it looks oh, like. Did someone just fly out of the world? Yeah, that is push being knocked yeah. out of the world. They are slowing down the blue wool, but. Well, uh, how are they going to get the red? Uh, without the ender plus, how are they. It I is mean, possible, but. Like, they, they can get it. Better. It's just. That challenge becomes tenfold uh, harder I mean, they haven't even started on it. Have they gotten the green yet? Have they even tried to go for the green on Spicy Glue side? Uh, someone's getting shot down here. It's a skeleton. It looks like they've got broken into yeah, the green. See, now this chest. is going to be really difficult because yeah, Joanna has to fight Mordeheim, but he also has to stop Push. And he's opting to shoot Mordeheim, which I don't think is really worth it. Not a good idea. And he never oh, but brought he's a bed. Not... Oh, but Push fell into the off. world. But here's White sneaking up with Mordeheim. <laughs> he landed in the water. He now, I guess now he's trying to decide what he wants to do, and he's just going to opt to kill himself. He's saying it's not worth it. It's not worth it trying to ride the water elevator. He'd rather get back to building the bridge. So still uh, just just the blue on Spice Chicken Cleave side. They, I think they should have the green, but I don't know why they haven't placed it yet. This is so Maybe strange, though, because look, now the blue wool for these teams is becoming the most difficult wool to get, and just because it's, PvP pressure can be applied it's the easiest much easier. Design. That's, that's, that's the simplest Well, fact. the thing is, is it really the easiest to deny? I think the green wool is actually the easiest to deny, but we've yet to see a team actually try to deny it. Because I the think green... the red wool could be denied quite easily as well. The Red Wolf is kind of hard, tricky to shoot a player at, right? I don't know. I mean, but yeah, like, it's. Teams are really going to change their strategies on how they go to uh, All right. denying Here the other Here comes White with the blue. Yeah, this yeah, is this a is game. completely over now. What a bad choice of map. Ah, uh, just this could have been the third map anyway, so. And there and you go. Game. Shenanigans We're takes it 2 0. 2 0. And that round was decided from the beginning of the game. 